I met him in, at my first job. At that time, I was 17. He seemed very genuine, very caring, very loving, very friendly, which every, like, uh, you would never like, imagine somebody would turn out. Like, he was a really nice person. I got accepted to Penn State with scholarship, like full scholarship. So I wanted to go to Penn State. And then um, I think uh, what happened was when like I, like I started caring more about school, he like he cheated on me and I like it kind of, it broke my heart. It, like it really it was it was a really difficult time for me to get over and I like obviously at that time I was really young and naive. I forgave him for it, so I gave him a second chance. And then it was it was fine for a while again. Like um, everything was going great, and then it just got worse and worse. And every time I forgave him for something, like it, it's perfect for a week, and it, go, it goes back to the way it was. And the next week, like it's like a cycle. It's like a toxic cycle that you never get over it. When I left Penn State, I had all this free time to him. I gave my whole like time to him. So after that, it got more physical because I was always with him. And if I did say something to him, he would like sometimes punch me. He would hit me. Yeah, I never thought I was in that cycle. I would never imagine I was in the domestic violence relationship. I thought my relationship was just perfect. Like I was just telling myself, oh, it's gonna get fine. It's gonna get better. And like it never did. I was kind of depressed about what happened. I just wanted to like get more like idea, like get more idea about the issue about domestic violence because I've never like experienced something like that in my life. My counselor, her name is Gabby. She, uh, when I first met her, and till now, she's I, I can't see the change, but she does. She always tells me she's so nice. She always tells me how I have changed so much. So when I first came here, if that guy ever came back to me or ever came to me, I probably would have accepted him at that time. I probably would have. But now I I won't never be in the like environment like this in this like in this place. I have better understanding. As a human being, you should never ever feel any type of like you should never feel any like Thing like that ever like with the person that you love you should always feel loved cared you know happy you should never question that person you should never think about oh when will I when will we ever be happy and I'm glad for Gabby for like making like making me realize that I, it, it was like I should never blame myself for the situations that happened I never want to feel like feel like I like a failure, I always want to feel like you know, I accomplished something even though the situation happened to me. I don't want to give up because I, I had some kind of like past. I want to finish school and no matter what happens in the past, I want to finish the goals that I had before I met him.